asking us to expand a logarithmic expression. Expand a logarithmic expression. So we're going to be using two of our logarithm rules here, one of which says log of a product is the sum of the logs log of AB equals log A plus log B. And I can already see exponents here, so I'm also going to be using the rule, my blogger rule, that says log of A to the power of B is equal to B log A. So I'm reserving those two rules off to the side so that I can apply them. Those are rules number one and three from our famous rules in class. So first problem is logarithm x cubed z to the ninth. So I see a product here and therefore I'm going to be doing two logarithms, one of which is a log of x, one of which is a log of z. Now according to the blogger rule, since the x is being cubed, that exponent on the x is now going to become a coefficient. It's now going to become a 3 log x. And similarly, the z to the 9, the 9 is going to become a coefficient on that piece. Finally, since these are a product, they're being multiplied together, we're going to separate them with a plus sign because plus turns into multiplication under the logarithm rules. Okay, let's try the one on the right here now. The one on the right actually has three pieces. It has a 2, an x to the fifth, and a y cubed all being multiplied. So as I'm preparing this one, I'm going to have a log of a 2, I'm also going to have a log of an x, and I'm also going to have a log of a y. Now, what are the exponents? Well, 2 doesn't really have an exponent, it's just a number. The x to the fifth has an exponent, so I'm going to pull that out in front as a 5. And the y cubed has an exponent of 3, so I'm going to pull that in front as a 3. Now again, they're all being multiplied, so we're just going to add these together. And our final answer is going to be log of 2 plus 5 log x plus 3 log y. Okay, pause the video. See if you can do this next problem on your own. Log of a b to the 7th c to the negative 2. Assuming you paused the video and tried it out for a second, let's see if you got the answer of. So you've got a log with an A, we have a log with a B, and we have a log with a C. The exponents are, the A doesn't have an exponent, B has an exponent, so it comes out as a coefficient of 7, and C has an exponent of a negative 2, so it's going to come out there as a negative 2 and then they are all being multiplied together so everything's going to be added at the end. So one extra credit little step of simplification, we might prefer to write this as log of a plus 7 log of b and then adding a negative would mean this would be a minus 2 log of c and that is our final answer.